Under the Breton Wood system, what of the following is true? Dollar and gold were both used in international transactions. Dollar and special drawing rights issued by IMF were used as international currencies. Only special drawing rights were used. Dollar was recognized as international reserve currency. This is the question. Okay, now understand one please. Please understand. See, the Breton words, let me give you some introduction to it. It was a set of unified rules. Okay. And policies, rules and policies. And what did it do? It provided a framework. Abhi, easy language. It provided a framework to create fixed international currency exchange this this word is enough for you to remember fixed international currency exchange so basically kya hua? we wanted to go towards one currency which can be used as an international currency accepted by all the countries for doing transaction and as a purpose of setting the reserve. Jo bhi, dekho, aaj bhi, jab hum log baat karte hain, humare reserve ki, reserve kis cheez ke bane central bank ke? It has gold, it has silver, it has currencies, foreign currencies, especially dollar, right? So reserve of any country, which tells how rich a country is, how, which currency will be used for those reserves? Konsi currency se pata chalega ki konsi country kitani rich hai? Which would be that one unified currency, one international currency? That is what Britain would stood, you know, it told, right? Now, this Britain would, it was officially called as the United Nation Monetary and Finance, you know, it, it basically, uh, jo iski conference hui thi, Britain Wood Conference. Let me write down. So the Britain Wood Conference. This was officially called as United Nations Monetary and Financial Conference. This is what it was called. United Nation Monetary and Financial Conference. Is that clear? This conference, it had delegates from 44 nations. They met at a place called Brayton Woods, which is in New Hampshire. And they agreed, wo mile aur discuss kya in 44 countries, ne, ki kya rule honge after World War II to go ahead and uh, to establish a good international system, right? So this is the importance of Britain Wood. But it did not have, it did not uh, work forever. Britain Wood also ended after some time. Okay? It ended in 1971. But anyways, we are not, we are not going to talk about that for now. So this is what Britain Wood is all about. So basically, Britain Wood system ne kya kya? Ek currency pe, it, it took you towards one currency which you recognized as an international reserve currency. Okay. So I will write just one line to make things clear. So please write down Britain Wood system of exchange was followed prior to 1971 under which Central bank, okay, so central banks of different countries, of countries, other than US, were given. 
task of maintaining fixed exchange rate between their currencies and US dollar. So they had to maintain fixed exchange rate between their currency and the US dollar. Am I clear on this? So the correct answer to this question is D. Dollar was recognized as international reserve currency. One thing that I want to highlight here, homework for you. Please write down who ended. Please answer this question. Okay. Who ended Britain Wood system? Sirf who nahi batane. Give me state one reason why it ended. Okay, it may come in MCQ. So you should give me one reason why this Breedenwood system ended. Okay. Okay, thank you. We will meet in the next class.